Hello, John Dilworth here, and I'm admiring the moon, this beautiful creature in the sky. From where did it come from? Well, it's like the, uh, Le Petit Prince. We don't know. Just somewhere out there, watching over us constantly, a witness to the fossils of our, of our work. And a symbol, a symbol of uh, our thriving, of love, of transformation, of change, of harvest. And that's how I feel over the past week, making all these changes and adjustments and, and seeking a, an improved piece of work, all, all before the full moon. I mean, this was conscious. I wanted to get all of this done before the moon was full, at its brightest, at its most brilliant. It's symbolic somehow, it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> I just felt like it was the landmark. And now all I need to do is wait for William to return from his paradise. And so it, we could edit again. And, and now this time, see, see what it is, see what the transformation brings, the change. As artists, we've got to, we've got to fight against the prejudice of criticism, invite it. I'm not saying like a vampire at the door, but, w but we can transform its meaning, its influence on us. I mean, it's just a matter of the mind. It just could retrain the way we see criticism, how it feels. And for me, of course, I'm still beating around at this thing. I mean, every time I think I have it, uh, I find that my ego steps in and the preciousness of what I'm doing. Oh my, how could anybody not understand what I'm trying to do? Yeah, the precious me. No, no, I don't want that. I don't want ego. Ego is, ego is like a mask. It's like what Joseph Campbell talks about, these personae that we wear. And I don't want that. I want my own personality, my own character to come through, to bring something for the world. I mean, I, well, I'm not saying I'm not grateful for courage and the work that we did and the wonderful influence that that work has all over the world. I mean, that's, for me, I'm just beginning. I don't know how to do this thing. But now I just feel, well, okay, I, I would like to do better. <laughs> I would like to do more. And like Mycelia, another great idea of mine through the, I mean, wow, Terence McKenna and so many of this, Stanislav Grof, all these brilliant thinkers. I mean, how to connect people more. Art has always done that. And then this thing about getting out there and rolling up your sleeves and taking a few in the kidneys and falling down on your knees and ripping your pants. I mean, now pants with tears, they're like hundreds of dollars. It's the fashion. I mean, what is that telling us about our society? Is that fashion? I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it isn't. But in terms of art, where is the moon? Did you see where the moon went? It hit itself for a little bit, like a game of peekaboo. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. We've got to get out there. We've got to take it, man, for the sake of art, for our own development. We've got to transform criticism so that it is a blessing, something perhaps from the moon.